Hi, my name is Mia. Nice to share my thoughts in this video. In this video, I'll focus my changes between my two assignments, my changes after finish the study of management 5050, and my views on the reading articles. Overall speaking, my assignment 2 is worse than assignment 1. My score is also reduced from 66 to 61. I had a lot of problem in both assignments. According to tutor's feedback, my problem of assignment 1 is mainly in three aspects. Uh, one is that my expression is not clear. Like there are some SDGs, I only see the numbers without seeing the specific content. The second is I am lack of analyze ability. I did not consider more company value in assignment 1. So I only made suggestions. And the last one is that I am also incorrect in some citation format. My references are not on a separate page. Uh, when I wrote uh, assignment 2, I only focused on improving my communication skills and uh, citation formats. As a result, my ability to analyze problem did not change. I did not even find the ethical issues in assignment 2, but instead of analyze the company's commercial marketing problems. Uh, so that's my biggest failure in assignment 2. In the last 10 weeks of study, there is an interesting thing is at first I thought this class was a lecture that teach me some unrealistic and uh, boring ethics. Uh, tell me how to be a noble person because I have always believed that many uh, ethical actions did not bring me practical benefits. But after I read the report of delayed in the first week, I found that is not true. Company that focus on ethics can get a return of assets quite uh, directly. After 10 weeks study, I found that basic management did not change my behavior very direct. Uh, like SDG principles, SQ formula works. Uh, instead, things homework set up make me develop the habits of self-reflection. Since I value shit in the first week, I have been in the process of self-reflection. And I learned to think about others' behavioral motivations. After reading this article, I have come to think that one of the main things that keep me from reflecting on myself in the past was my resistance emotions. This resistance came from my fear, I think. I was afraid that think about my past would put me in an embarrassing or frustrating position again. Uh, this fear caused me, uh, causes me to dislike the reflective process. This may uh, affect my future work. So, in order to defeat this fear, I plan to take my own measure. Uh, that is to reflect on positive aspects first. Think about what I did well and uh, provide myself positive emotions. So, uh, before I reflect on my mistakes, uh, that's probably what worked for me, and that's what I want to talk in this video. Thank you very much.